typhoon called uh, Haiyan or Yolanda hit the country and obviously you will notice that there, there are still a lot of scars from, from the typhoon because let's, rem let's remind us that nobody expected such a scale of uh, devastation through, uh, throughout Samar Island for instance and Samar is just one of the four islands impacted by this super typhoon. Yolanda destroyed or damaged partially more than uh, 4 million houses or shelters in the country. So you can imagine that the scale of the re rehabilitation or the re rebuilding process is, is immense. You will still see too many families living in a tent or in very basic uh, shelters. Despite distress, it's amazing to see how the people just are doing their best to to get back on their feet. Everybody's trying to, to have, to rebuild a life that is as normal as possible, as it used to be prior to Yolanda. One of the stories I keep in mind uh, that strikes me all the time is uh, the community living in Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz de Polos. When we started to work with this community, they told us that what they need now is really to have a sustainable shelter. At the time, they were still living in tents. And today, if you visit Santa Cruz, we are just fixing the last shelter. And uh, you can see the joy to the families. We have identified so far 4,500 families in eight different municipalities of Samar and together with the Philippine Red Cross we are providing now the kit. We have delivered right now 1,600 kits and we are still looking at being able to complete all those activities by the end of this year.